All right, I'm going to take uh, the uh, shield that I put on the uh, Viking and uh, readapt it for the uh, warrior here. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Shields are usually about the width of the shoulders. Time to play with some clay. I'd really appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Uh, subscribe to my videos and you'll get updates uh, occasionally or whenever I do them. <laughs> and uh, share it if you think it's worth sharing with friends, especially sh friends that you know that may be interested in sculpting. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Actually, I just figured out that this is about exactly two heads wide, this shield, which is the uh, width of the shoulders with uh, the muscles and all the other stuff on it. So it is the right size. How about that? So anyway, like I said, I made this for the Viking. The uh, Viking fell apart, and so I have to... Uh, try to do something to uh, reuse this for this uh, figure. But I'll worry about that later. Right now, I'm going to continue on with the anatomy. Unlike yesterday, my clay's softened up nicely, so... Uh, I can work a little bit more on the uh, figure. I'm wait waiting for the replacement uh, extension of this arm here. Um, if he's holding a shield, it would be this arm. So quite honestly, I can take <coughs> that arm off and place it over here. now. The nice thing about these foam pieces is uh, the clay adheres to it really nicely. I think the uh, light bulb I got, it says it's 100 watt, but it had 70 watt too on there, and I think it's just a little bit less than 100 watt. I'm going to have to go to my storage unit and get me some 100 waters. When I heard uh, that the EPA was going to outlaw 100 watt bulbs, I started buying them like crazy at uh, Home Depot. <laughs> so I got enough to last me for the rest of my life. But I just uh, got them all stored out at the studio or at the uh, storage unit. And uh, because I just didn't have room here to store them. I like to get a coat of clay on the armature itself just so I've got something for the uh, muscles to attach to. Alright, I've attached my uh, maquette which is generally the size of the uh, piece that I'm working on. Um, this will help me with the uh, muscles and, and such. And I've uh, clamped it to this board. Let me see if I can show you. No, yeah, I can't. It's, there's a clamp. i got a C-clamp right down there. I had to take the... Uh, part of the turntable underneath off that uh, allows this to turn so that it's more stable. I don't want this thing falling off my sculpting stand. That's a real, real expensive uh, mistake if I let that happen. Okay, I'm working on his back, putting clay on this, on the back part of the armature. And I can see that I'm off center with my head because it doesn't 
quite line up with the uh, center of the backbone. So I got to move that over just a little and uh, even out the neck a little bit. Much better. I'm not going to make him real muscular. I'm going to make him fit. But uh, I've never seen a photograph of a warrior from this time frame with uh, a Schwarzenegger like uh, body. Except in Hollywood. <laughs> I think before I start the bottom half, I'm going to work on the upper half and get it started, at least roughed in. Okay, I'm just flushing in the uh, upper torso. I'm not going to give him a six pack, but he would have had uh, some development in his stomach muscles because uh, sitting on bareback on a horse requires a lot of uh, stressing of uh, muscles of the stomach and the back and legs. He didn't do sit ups, he didn't have a gym to go to but he would have been fit.
All right, I got the collarbones on. And I'm just going to fill in behind them so it strengthens their position. And then I'll pick this up tomorrow. You don't want to overdo it. It's, it's, it's kind of like reaching a happy medium to make somebody look like a normal person instead of a superhero because uh, you got to resist that. When I first started sculpting 55 years ago, I uh, did every muscle one at a time. That's how I taught myself. But doing that, they always looked like a he-man instead of like a human. muscles to the chest. I'm, I'm going to check the uh, post office tomorrow and see if my uh, arm or this uh, other arm here has come in. If you ever break uh, a part on your uh, armature, your true form armature, you can uh, most of the time order a replacement piece and it only cost, cost a few dollars for that plus shipping of course but uh I take my time on some of these things only because you don't want to rush it. I'm happy the way it's turning out. I'll do the neck muscles tomorrow and uh, all right. Good night, everybody. See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs. Uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.